Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to build a AI note summarizer using React.js, Python, Flask, and the Olama Llama 3 large language model. So this is how it'll work. We'll import some notes, or like you can import some notes that you took in your class. So these are actually notes I took in my AP Human Geography class. And when we click Summarize Notes, it's going to fetch the backend server here. And it's going to fetch the Llama 3 API. And it'll and it's actually going to return us with the summarization of the notes and this will be forwarded to our react.js where it'll then be displayed down here now we'll be building this in this video so stay tuned we need to first actually download olama so that way we can download all of the large language models so depending on your operating system download it then once it's downloaded open up the um, installing manager and install it on your computer once you've installed it open up a command prompt and you want to like in the command prompt type olama and if it shows you all of this this means you've already got it now if you've never used olama before to run a model you have to do olama run and then the model we're going to be using for this video is llama 3 now if you don't have it installed it's actually going to install it for you first but if you got it installed it'll say send a message and we can actually start using the ai right now we can just say hello and it's going to respond with you know hello and we can use and we can really say anything so there we go now once all of this is actually working we can begin programming in our VS code in our code editor we must make two folders one will be the client and the other will be the server so to make our client let's do npm create v at latest and we're gonna call this project the client We'll choose React, we'll choose JavaScript, and then we'll cd into the client, do npm install. Now this could take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. Alright, once it's installed everything, we can just run it, so we'll do npm run dev. And once it's done that, we can actually just open up a new terminal, so just click this plus over here. Now, in this new terminal, we'll make a new folder called server, so we'll do mkdi our server open up the server and the client up here and um, we'll seed into the server first uh, whoops we'll seed into the server then we'll do touch uh, server.py so it'll make a python uh, file for us and then we'll also need to do pip or pip3 if you're on mac but since i'm on windows i'll do pip install flask and cores now it should take a while for you but since I've already got it installed it, um, it's already running so we can actually close our terminal and we can start programming our um, react first in our app.jsx I've already got rid of the boilerplate code so we can actually start begin programming our um, actual front end side so alongside react up here we're also going to import uh, use state and under the app function we'll make two uh, states will be th the first will be the notes and the second will be the summarized notes from the AI so we'll do notes and set notes is equal to use state and we'll also do const summarize notes and set notes is equal to use state null now the reason we're doing null is before we actually um, submit our notes to the AI, we're not gonna have anything, right? So it'll, so it's gotta be uh, null. Now in our uh, return, we'll make a fragment, then we will make a div in here, and we'll make an H3 that says AI uh, notes summarizer. And under here, we'll also make a text area. We can delete the ID and the name. And we can actually have a on change function, and we'll call this the event, and this will set notes to be e dot target dot value. Now we can save this, and under here we can give it rows. We'll give it twenty five rows, and we'll give it fifty columns. So it'll be nice and big. Now under the text area, let's have a break tag, and under here we'll actually have a button that says summarize notes. Now, when we click this, we're going to make a run of function, but before we do that, let's actually have a ternary operator that checks if we already have some notes from the AI. So under the button, we'll make a div, 
in the div we'll make a ternary operator and we'll check so we'll check if the summarize note is not equal to null so if it's not equal to null we'll make a p tag uh, a p tag and the p tag will actually have the summarize notes for us but if it is null so if we don't have any notes yet then we won't show anything so we'll just put null for that now if we save this once we get the notes and once we actually save it into uh, the summarized notes uh, it's going to show down here now we can work on the function that will uh, actually call the server and and then it'll retrieve what the whatever the server gives it so under these uh, use states let's do async function uh, let's just call this generate AI note and we'll actually have this button call this function so we'll do on click generate AI notes now we can save this and in the um, generate AI notes function we can start programming uh, the fetching and the retrieving the data and everything like that so um, in this function what we'll do is we'll do cont response is equal to fetch and we're gonna fetch the backend uh, API so it's gonna be like the same as this up here except we're gonna change some things around so we can actually just fetch the URL up here and we can paste it here the only difference is instead of 5173 this will be 5000 and instead of slash being nothing we'll do slash uh, AI and after this we'll make some curly brackets in the curly brackets we'll put the method as post and we will do headers so we'll give it some headers the uh, content type content dash type is going to be application dash json and under here we'll also make a body and the body will just be json stringify so it's so like a json version of the notes that we have in this text area json.stringify it'll be an object which will take notes and the value of the notes that we sent to the back end will just be notes now once we've actually sent the API we can wait for a response so we'll do if response whoops hold on if response dot okay so if the response is okay then we'll make a data so we'll do const data is await response.json and um, we'll actually console actually you know we don't have to log the data we can just do set summarized notes so that's data up here we'll just set this to be the data now we can save this now if we run this it's actually gonna give us an error there we go it's gonna give us an error because we actually don't even have our server programmed yet so as you can see our Python is actually literally empty so once we uh, finish programming our server then this app should be working very smoothly but so far we're basically done with the react By the way I forgot to mention we actually made an error in our app.jsx for this response instead of this just being fetch it's actually supposed to be a wait fetch so now our app will actually work good because we actually forgot to put this await in here in the uh, beginning. Now we can close this and in our server.py we can start programming this. So what we must do is we must um, actually hold on. Yeah, in, in your terminal, make sure you also have Olama installed. So let's just reinstall everything that we must install. So we'll do pip install flask flask underscore cores and Olama. Now there once it's installed we can import it in our Python so we'll do from Olama import uh, chat and chat response we'll do from flask import flask request and JSONify and then we'll do from flask underscore course import course now we can make the app so we'll do app is equal to flask double underscore name double underscore we'll also do course app the reason we do course is so that it'll allow requests from like different uh, parties 
so from uh, our react or, or whatever now under this we can make the route so we'll do app dot route we'll make the route be slash ai and we'll be make the methods that it can accept be get and post we'll also make a function so we'll do um, def uh, ai and in this function we can uh, have um, all the code that we can check and fetch the API with. So we'll first check if the request that we got was a post request. So we'll do request dot method is equal to post. If it is, then we'll get the notes. So we'll do notes is equal to request dot get underscore JSON. And we will check if the notes. So if we have notes and if notes in notes then what we'll do is we'll actually call the AI API so we'll do response colon chat response is equal to chat the model we're gonna use is llama3 and the messages we're gonna send we'll make it a list in here we'll make a object and we'll make the role of the person sending the message be the user and the content that they will send we'll actually make it a f string where we're going to hard code some code so the hard coded code will just be um, only return with summarized notes and we'll give it a curly bracket and we'll put some notes here now once we actually get a response so we'll check if we have some response if we do then we're going to return a JSON, a file of response dot uh, message dot content. Now, once we have all this, we can actually run our app. So we'll do if double underscore name double underscore is equal to double underscore main double underscore. Don't worry about what that does. It's just some simple Python. We'll do app dot run. And we'll set debug is equal to true since we're in development mode. If we save this and if we in our terminal, if we run the app, so we'll do Python server.py. As you can see, it's gonna run it on port 5000. And we can actually put our AI note summarizer here. So we'll just import some notes. There you go. If you click summarize notes. Uh, hold on. It's, there we go. It's giving. It's gonna give us all the notes that we got. Now in here, you can really put any notes. We can actually even put this entire code here. So we can copy this entire thing, paste it here, and if we click summarize notes, I'm pretty sure it's gonna summarize the code for us. There we go. It's actually giving us the whole summary of how we're actually programming this. So. There we have it guys, this is just a simple AI note summarizer tutorial using Olama. If you found this useful, please subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching.